welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another great craft. Um, we're doing some DIY bows. Um, I told everyone in my first video that I'm going to show you a DIY on how to make bows at home. And the time has come. We're going to do it today. And the only thing you're going to need is any ribbon of your choice. You're going to need pipe cleaners. You're going to also need scissors. So I've already created one bow. Let you take a look at one of my first ones that I created already. It's so beautiful and cute. These bows can go on any wreath, any decorative vase, any item of your choice. These wreaths, um, these um, bows can be used in many different ways. And um, I just thought it was real nice that I am able to make my own bows. And it saves me a lot of money because there are a lot of people that are out there that's making bows. And um, I wanted to learn myself. So I taught myself how to make bows. And this is my version of how I make my bows to go on my wreaths and my vases and any other decorative item. So first of all, you'll just take your ribbon. You will cut your ribbon at a vertical angle. Just like that. When you cut your rib from your ribbon um, vertical like this, it helps with fraying. It keeps the ribbon from fraying. It does not have to be perfectly even, but I like for mine to be as even as possible. Just like that. We're going to even it up just a little bit. Got a piece just a tad bit too long. All right. So what you'll do, you will hold your ribbon just like this. Lightly hold it. But first of all, you will come down to your end and you can start forming your loops of your ribbon. That's loop number one. That's loop number two. Just hold it firmly. Loop number three. And we're going to do three loops instead of four. Um, generally, for um, bigger ones or medium ones, you will do more loops. This is a smaller one, so we're doing just three loops. Um, the ribbon I just showed you, I did four loops. The four loop one makes a medium size ribbon. So you're going to take your pipe cleaner, just like that. Pretty much you're going to just hold and look at your three loops of your ribbon to see which side you're going to put your pipe cleaner on. So I'm facing it towards me. I'm going to put it this way. Just like that. Then I'm going to just twist. I'm going to twist it just like that. This part right here is um, the pipe cleaner, the ends. This is the part that you're going to attach to your decorative item, your wreath, your vase, any decorative item that you're going to put the bow on. So generally what I do, I just use one. I make sure it is real, real tight, just like that. Then I go behind to tuck it away. I like for it to be tucked away in the back, just like that. It's going to be tucked right in between the little pieces. So we're going to begin to separate each loop. So right now, this is exactly how your ribbon should be looking. You should have your loops just like that. So when I mean by separate each loop, I mean to go in between the burlap. And gently, her burlap is a little fragile. Separate. And with burlap, you kind of pretty much have to just play around with which way you want your bows to lay. Okay. Now, face it towards you for a second and just pull the bow 
to it fits your desire look. Got to hold it from the back to play with it a little bit. Then you pretty much just keep flaring out your bow until you feel like it's it has reached your desire look that you want. So I'll hold it kind of tight to make sure it's fluffed pretty well. All right. All right, everybody. I always say it to say it to a lot of people. I always say to a lot of people all the time that making bows are isn't really easy to do like that. But the way that I do them is easy to me. There are a slew of ways to make bows. Um, I've seen bows made all sorts of ways. Um, from the internet to um, different blogs, friends, and people that I've actually seen make them. And this is just my version of how I make my bows. Because to me, this way is a whole lot easier for me. It's stress free <laughs> and it also it saves you so much money having to um, pay someone else to make bows for you. So this is the smaller bow. Smaller bow right here. And this one right here can go on a vase or anything like that or a wreath if you like. And here is my larger bow it's more like a medium sized bow i didn't make the, the real real large one right here but um i really really loved how everything turned out i love the patriotic look of the um, ribbon itself um you can use any ribbon that you like of color doesn't have to be patriotic like mine's but um make sure you use burlap ribbon or ribbon with wire those two types of ribbons generally works the best with making ribbons and um, bows and um i just love how it turned out it is so beautiful thank you so much for tuning in for this diy on how to make ribbons and bows i mean we're bows for your um, home or any type of decor in your house Please make sure you comment, you like, you subscribe, continue to tune in and watch me because I'm ever so grateful for everyone that tunes in and watch me. And always remember to create, enjoy, and explore. And it's me again, Uniquely Tay, and I'll catch you in that next video.